Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a spring makeup tutorial and it's very bright and colorful and bold and dramatic and I love it. I did pair a dramatic bold eye with a bold lip. As you can see, you can use whatever color lip you want to because there are so many colors in this eye makeup look. I'm sure I look pretty different right now because one, I'm wearing a hairstyle that I've never worn before. It's very different. I literally just brushed my hair back and put my hair behind my ears and it's just behind me and I actually like it. It's kind of cute. Um, it's different. I'm wearing a choker, which I never wear chokers, but I got this one from Forever 21 if you're wondering. I don't know, there's just something that came across me recently that has me wanting to try new hairstyles that I had never thought to try before, um, new styles, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling very bold. But if you are interested in seeing how I created this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So this is the Maybelline New York Shine Free Loose Powder and I'm going to take this on my beauty blender and I'm going to bake my face with this. I'm just going to tap it in there like so and apply this underneath my eyes. This will set our concealer and I'm going to leave this on while we do our eyeshadow, just in case we have any fallout. And then we can just sweep it all away when we're done with our eyeshadow. But I'm just going to bake the rest of my face while I have the powder out because there's no use in taking it out twice. And this color is a little yellow for my skin tone, but it's okay. Once we swipe it away, you can't even really tell. So now it's time for the eyeshadow and I'm going to be taking my Ulta Beauty Nude Matte Eyeshadow Primer and this is very watery. Um, you guys saw my first impressions video. If you haven't checked out that video, I will have it linked right here for you um, to check out after you watch this video, of course. And it's very watery, but I still use it because it's a really good primer and it does its job. So what I like to do, instead of like squeezing it on my finger and rubbing it on, I just like to apply it directly onto my lid and then I take my beauty blender and then I pat it in like so. Ta-da! For the eyeshadow, I want to make it very colorful, but we need a transition shade first because if we just apply color directly onto the lid, it's kind of hard to blend and create a gradient effect. So what I like to do is take this shade right here for my transition shade and we're going to blend that right in our crease. Try and keep it above the line of your crease if that, that makes any sense. So instead of blending it down and onto my lid, I'm keeping it above my crease. You want to make sure this is blended out nicely before you go into the colors. We're going to use most of the shades in this Fuego palette to achieve the very colorful look that we're going for. And I'm going to start off by taking the same blending brush and I'm going to take this pink right here. It's like a pink, purple, magenta. It's just very pretty, very spring. So we are going to dip into that and we are going to blend this into our crease and blend it in with the transition shade. See if we didn't have that transition shade there, this pink would be a little difficult to blend and it just wouldn't fade into our brow bone. So once you're done with that, you are going to take 
this shade right here. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, which I like. So we are going to take that shade and apply it on our eyelids. And um, I'm just going to take it on a flat brush like so. You want to make sure this is packed on so well so the color pigment is very bright and vibrant and you want to bring it all the way to the inner corners all the way to the outer corners we're going to bring it right above my crease and we're going to blend it in with the light pink shade that we started with Once you've blended it out, you can go back into the shimmery pink shade and reapply it on our lid just to make sure that the color is vibrant still. Because every time we blend it, we're going to lose a little bit of color. So just keep reapplying, keep reblending until you have achieved this look. Now we need to create some depth and we are going to achieve that by taking this purple shade right here and again using the same blending brush because I need to buy more blending brushes. I'm taking this purple shade and I am applying that in my outer corners and I'm blending that in circular motions. Like I said, this is just going to create a little bit of depth but it's not going to be too dark because we are trying to keep this look very colorful. I'm going to put on some winged eyeliner and if I incorporate that in the video, it's just gonna take way too long. If you guys want a separate winged eyeliner makeup tutorial, then please let me know so I can do that for you guys so I don't have to just keep doing like my same winged eyeliner routine in every single video because Ain't nobody got time for that. Now that I'm done with my winged eyeliner, which I'm obsessed with, by the way. I don't know what happened, but today my eyeliner is on point. Get it? On point. <laughs> so I'm going to go back into my Fuego palette, and we are going to do the lower lash line and the inner corners. And for the lower lash line, I think I want to do a green and blue and I think this is gonna make it look very spring it's gonna add a little more color to our eyes instead of it just being pink so I'm going to take this green right here it's a very light green and I'm going to take it on a an eyeliner brush I think that's what it is um, my all of my brushes don't have names on them so that's why I call them like a straight brush or an eyeliner brush or a blending brush. Like that's it. And I'm just going to keep building it up because it is a very light green. And obviously you don't want to start off with like a super intense green. So we're just going to put the light green on the inner third of our lower lash line. And then we're going to go in with this blue shade right here. Same brush. It's okay. It's okay. And I'm going to apply that on my outer third. And I'm kind of blending it up into my eyeliner. So there's not a gap between the eyeliner and the blue. You want them to meet. And as you can see, the middle is bare right now. So we are going to take this darker green and we are going to use that shade to blend the light green and the blue together. So we're just going to pop that in the middle, right there. And as you can see, we're getting a ton of fallout, which is 
why we left on the loose powder so we can just dust it all away when we're done. So you should be left with something like this. Let me dust off that now because, see, you just dust away the powder and it dusts all of the fallout away with it. I'm just gonna dust off all of the powder off of my face because we don't need it anymore. And for another pop of color, I'm going to take this brush right here and I'm going to use this brush for our inner corners and we're going to take this light yellow right here and mix it in with this shimmery yellow. I'm excited for, for this part because it's going to add a lot of a pop of color and I feel like it's really going to tie in the look. It's like, oh yes. Okay, so just keep building it up. You can do a little bit at a time like I am and you want to blend it in a little bit. You can go back in with the brush that you used for your lower lash line and help to blend in the yellow with the light green. Just keep going back and forth until it's blended seamlessly. I want to take a little bit more of a narrow tapered brush. Let's see how it's like a little bit smaller. And I'm going to use this for my inner corners just to make sure that color really stands out. And I'm going to carefully blend it up because we want it to blend seamlessly with the pink as well. And now just to blend out the lower lash line just a little more, I'm going to take my blending brush wiping off all of the color on it and just using it to blend out the lower lash line. So now that we're done with the eyeshadow and the eyeliner, I actually apply eyeliner in my waterline because I forgot to do that and I think it just really completed the look. I'm going to move on to mascara and I'm going to be using the Sumptuous Extreme mascara from Estee Lauder in the shade Extreme Black and I am going to lift my mirror like so so I can look down and I'm going to apply my mascara. Be very careful not to get your mascara on your eyelid because we do not need that. So I applied two coats of that mascara and now I'm going to go in with my Benefit their real mascara and this is just going to help spread the lashes even more because you know I don't wear false lashes because they're just so hard for me to put on. I'm going to use this mascara to just help separate the lashes and give us the effect that we are wearing false lashes but we're not. I'm also going to take this mascara from Benefit and I'm going to carefully apply it on my lower lashes. You do not want to touch the eyeshadow on your lower lash line, so just be very careful when applying this. So the eyes are done, as you can see. I'm going to finish my face, use my bronzer, contour, and blush, and I will be back to show you guys the highlight I'm going to use, and then we'll move on to the lips. So for my highlight, I think I'm going to use a highlight that is very fresh looking, very dewy, and it has a little bit of a pink undertone, but it's not too pink. So I think I'm going to go in with this shade right here, and this is a palette from Forever 21. Apply that on my cheekbones. I'm also going to take the same shade and highlight the tip of my nose and the bridge. After I apply my brow bone shade, I like to blend it in with the crease shade 
And now it's time for the final step, which is the lips. And I am going bold with the lips to match the bold eyes. I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Revolution Lip Gloss. And it is this gorgeous hot pink and it is in the shade Anarchy. It's a high color lip gloss and we are going to apply this. Look at that. Oh, you guys. So the look is complete. I am in a towel. I'm gonna go get dressed so I can film the rest of this video and let's just get on to the outro. All right guys, I am dressed and as you can see, I did my hair kind of. I put on my choker and I'm just feeling very springy right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already. Make sure to turn on my post notifications so you know exactly when I upload a brand new video. I do upload videos on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Sundays are more the beauty videos. Wednesdays are more talking videos. And Saturdays are my weekly vlogs. I just vlog throughout the week vlog anything special that's going on or different or exciting and then I incorporate that in my vlog and upload that so you guys can get a little insight of my life. Make sure to leave a comment down below telling me if you liked this makeup look and if you do like it and you try it out on yourself, make sure to tweet me pictures, tag me on Instagram. I will have my social media listed down below for you. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below telling me what kind of video you guys would like to see in the future. I'm always curious as to what you guys want to see from my channel. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.